back, everybody, to your weekly regional forecast brought to you by the Oklahoma Weather Lab. My name is Leah Hill, and you might have noticed that my partner James is out this week. He should be back next week, however. So this is the forecast starting on Friday, September 14th, 2018. So diving right on into our headlines, I'm going to be talking about the warmer temperatures that we are going to be seeing ahead these next couple weeks. I've got your one month outlook for you and just a little bit of the hurricane season so far. Jumping right on ahead to your six to 10 day outlook. We do see that we are going to have some above average temperatures down towards the southeastern portion of the state. Most of the country is actually going to be seeing those above average temperatures in the six to 10 day time frame, while in the north, even the northwest, they are going to have a chance for below average temperatures for this next week. And your 6 to 10 day precipitation around the Minnesota, Iowa, and even the Dakotas region, they, you can expect some above average precipitation. While along the Rockies and through Carolina, through California, there is a chance for below average precipitation for the 6 to 10 day time frame. Moving on to the 8 to 14 day temperatures. We do have again in the southeast, they are going to see above average temperatures for the 8 to 14 day mark. And then a little patch of below average temperature is, could be expected over in Maine. For the precipitation outlook for this time frame, the central and even out through the east coast, they could see some above average precipitation as well. Where again in the Rockies region, they could see some below average precipitation. So for your drought monitor, it's it's looking a little better than it did last week. In the Wichita Falls, which is right along the border of Texas and Oklahoma, they do still have a small patch of extreme drought. Most of the Texas state is expected to see drier conditions for these next couple of weeks. But again, along the southeast, drought conditions have improved drastically, which is fantastic news. So for your one month temperature outlook, again, we see those above average temperatures of towards the northeastern portion of the state. We're just looking at above average temperatures. So not quite getting that fall like weather. We might see just a little bit on the warmer side for the next month. And then we do have this thin strip of what we could see above average precipitation for the next month. And then another band of above average precipitation all along the Gulf and the Eastern coast. So I promised you the hurricane outlook. First, I wanted to show you this graphic. This was put out back in early August, but it just shows the predictions for the 2018 hurricane season. So it was predicted that be, there'd be anywhere between 10 to 16 named storms, five to nine of those would be hurricanes, and it was also predicted that one to four of those would be major hurricanes. So let's see what we've had so far with our hurricane season. We have had five tropical and extra tropical storms so far and we have had about five hurricanes. Now this hurricane season officially ends on November 30th, so be sure to keep up with the National Hurricane Center for more updates. Also be watching our podcasts and keep your eyes on the traffic as we near the end and also even in the middle right now of hurricane season. So once again, this podcast has been brought to you by the University of Oklahoma Weather Lab, a top academic weather and research program in the United States and partner of the Southern Climate Impacts Planning Program. Be sure to watch us on Fridays. We post our videos on YouTube and give the Oklahoma Weather Lab a channel a like.